In this lesson, we're going to introduce the idea of a linear function. We'll define what a linear function is, and we'll learn how we can identify a linear function by looking at its graph. Notice the first four letters in the word linear, L-I-N-E. That spells the word line. And simply put, a linear function is a function whose graph is a line. Those lines might look a little different from function to function. We might have a graph where the line is increasing, we might have another where the line is decreasing, or we might even have a function where the line is constant. But no matter the case, those three graphs will be linear functions because the graph is a line. So what does the graph of a nonlinear function look like? Well, any other shape. Here we see three graphs that are not lines. These are the graphs of functions that are not linear. Because we know in order for a function to be linear that the graph must be a straight line. Let's take a look at some examples. These are graphs of functions, and I want you for each of them to determine if it shows a linear or a nonlinear function. How about this one? The shape of the graph is a perfectly straight line, therefore we have a linear function. How about this one? The graph is not a line, therefore this is not a linear function. Notice that the graph has curvature to it, a linear function does not have any such curvature. How about this function? The graph is a line, therefore we have a linear function. How about this one? This is clearly not a linear function because the graph is not a line. In fact, the graph has curves to it. How about this function? This graph shows a perfectly straight line, therefore we have a linear function. How about this one? This is not a linear function because the graph is not a line. How about this one? You might be tempted to say that this is a linear function because we do have some straight line parts to this graph. However, the entire graph is not one continuous straight line. Therefore, this is not a linear function. And now you know everything you need to know in order to identify the graph of a linear function. Remember, you can learn more about functions in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.